What's up everyone? 7 October's here uh, with Nightmare Cinema again. Today I wanted to do a quick uh, non-spoiler review of the movie Talk To Me. Um, shout out to Cinebeth. I was able to go and screen it early um, last night. Last night was uh, June 27th. Um, and so I got to screen it. Shout out to also Eddie from Popcorn Reef, um, his friend Dima, and my homie Carla who also uh, got to watch it last night. It was pretty fun. Um, yeah, I was... I uh, had seen the trailer a few weeks back and I was really intrigued by it. It really uh, was like a dope concept. Also, um, the A24 was behind it, which it's a hit or miss with, with the A24, but usually like the past recent ones, I've really loved them. So um, yeah, so I wanted to give a quick review about it. So uh, for those who haven't seen it, um, pretty much is the directorial debut of these two brothers called um, Danny and Michael Filippo. Um, so shout out to them. Great directorial debut for their first one. Um, and then the cast is Sophie Wilde, who plays uh, the lead character, Mia. Uh, Zoe Tarakas, uh, who played Haley. Joe Bird, who played Riley. Alexandra Jensen, who played Jade. And then amongst other um, dope cast members on there. Again, it's an A24 production. Um, and it's going to be released on July 28th. And so I kind of want to get into real quick, like the pros and the cons. So I really um, enjoyed the cast and the character development. My favorite actually standout character, which I guess she's not really like a nice character, but she's also isn't uh, mean, uh, but she isn't uh, like the nicest either. So Haley, um, who is played by Zoe Tarakas for me, um, her character, I really uh, enjoyed it. Like she played it to the T and I, uh, or they played it to the T um but yeah really dope character and uh again the a great story as well um i felt like it um, had layers to it so it's about uh, the main character who lost her mother and then slowly um, you start finding out other things about it but it's about dealing with loss grief depression so i really love that that they intertwine that into the story um and then it had some really creepy scenes i remember seeing the trailer and i saw a lot of get out inspiration in it for sure and there's like a kangaroo that's all i'll say uh was really dope uh but yeah a lot of creepy scenes um that did stay with me after the movie um and then kudos again to the directors for their directorial debut really good movie um again a, a solid a24 movie for me i also enjoyed um the soundtrack they had like a lot of like i believe it was australian hip-hop which was really dope um and of course being a hip-hop fan that stood out to me so i really enjoyed that also like the the score was really dope. Um, some things that I wish would have gone into more was the mythology of the hand. They do briefly mention what it is and where it came from, but I feel like they left that a little bit open-ended. For me, I love mythology. You can see I have my little evil dead um, over here. Um, shout out to Cindy for getting me that blanket. But yeah, so mythology is huge for me, so I wish they would have dug in a little bit more, but I know it's an hour and 30-something minutes, so they can't go fully. So hopefully if there is a sequel, um, go more into the supernatural realm and what that hand is that would be really dope but other than that that's my quick non-spoiler review i do recommend it go watch it when it hits theaters i'll probably go watch it again um and thank you guys for tuning in peace